Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Minecraft. In this series I build things in Minecraft survival mode which uh, includes fighting all the monsters and uh, all of the bosses and traveling to all the dimensions and all things that go along with it. On the previous episode I built this, the main castle keep of my castle, Castle Elderstone, the capital of my city, New Eldaris. I've continued working on it since the last episode. I uh, built the entire thing originally out of brick, but I have come back and I have scored it. Uh, what scoring means is that I basically ruin large portions of the wall and then I replace them with alternative brick, uh, mainly to make it look like it's been damaged and patched. The process is pretty simple. You just find like an area like this wall, which is like almost all brick and kind of looks a little static because it's all the same material. And then I am just going to start breaking blocks with my pick and then I'm going to drag my pick across the wall like that. So that was kind of a straight line. So I might uh, break it up a little bit more like that actually. So this is the more typical result. Uh, and then, as a general rule, I will replace all of the blocks that I took out with alternative blocks. So we can make, you know, we can make this one cracked, which behind this column will look kind of cool. And then maybe we can use andesite behind there. Uh, the rest of this I'm just going to patch up with solid stone. And then when we get done, it lo should look as if though it has taken damage and then been quickly repaired with materials on hand. So as far as like, where did this damage come from? I mean, you know, uh, we're like at war with several factions in Minecraft, right? I mean, we've got the monsters who spawn every night and they're probably about to show up here, but I did want to take some time to show you what everything looks like at night. Uh, yeah, so there's the monsters, there's the Endermen, there's the heat pillagers. And then there's the phantoms. The phantoms also might make an appearance soon because I haven't been sleeping very much. I've actually just been kind of going around taking care of business. Scoring, in my opinion, Tay, is a little bit better than texturing. Texturing just uh, basically involves random placement, but scoring is the, is the act of making something look like it has been attacked in a specific spot. Also, what I like to do is in the corners, I like to put cracked ones. Uh, to show structural stress, really. Let's tear this up. Let's put a cracked one there. It looks really good to put andesite next to a cracked one. It just kind of looks like this block is more... This block makes this block look more ruined. When you put solid stone mixed with uh, stone brick, the stone brick stands out and the solid stone recedes a little bit. Okay, and have, now that I'm finishing up this wall, I really feel like the process is kind of done. So let's go over here and take a look. Uh, whoops! Missed a block. Uh, yeah, but otherwise this scoring looks really good. It really does add a lot of character to the building. Uh, so in here, uh, things are looking a little bleak. I definitely want to do a layout on the interior. However, that's probably not what we're going to do on today's episode. I also want to point out that I've made some changes to the rooftops. I added these spires to the top of the roofs on each of the towers on the main gatehouse. And then I also added these roofs and the tops to these towers. I uh, got the exact same peaked roof on there and here's this pointed design at the top that kind of completes that. I sort of felt like it needed to be copied over here. Also did this tower, <laughs> if if Optifine wants to work for me. It's still in uh, release candidate mode at this point. I added this balcony to the top level with a nifty little banner underneath it. That way the royals uh, have a way to come out here and take a look over their kingdom and the uh, bay there during the day. Uh, all, most of the royals' bedrooms will be up in the roof area, so the roof will probably have additional windows poking out of it, but I'm going to kind of leave that until we're actually doing the interior layout. So we're taking a little flight along the back side of the building here, as you can see, and I will get out to a floating position. This is pretty bad. Uh, we got this tower uh, covered right there, same as the other towers. Uh, right behind it, that tower there, the square one, is actually the donjon. That is the main tall tower that needs to rise up over the castle. And then it will have a room at the top of the tower 
which will be my official bedroom. I really haven't had a place to sleep in my Minecraft world, and now I'm going to, and I'm pretty excited about that. So on today's episode, I'll be building the Don John, and I'll also be doing a small project down there in the corner of the courtyard. We have this really nice little space in the corner here between behind the main stairs. I want to utilize it the best possible. So I haven't scored the wall here. And in fact, I may take out this uh, andesite because it could be a waste. However, uh, what I want to put here is a carriage house, an old medieval style carriage house built out of wood. I'll probably build it in a palette very similar to this with uh, dark oak, spruce and bone blocks on display there. It looks like my blacksmiths are still hard at work over here. I have had to wrangle them back into their hole a couple times. That's been a little annoying. However, once I get my castle set up, I do want to staff it. I do want staff going throughout the various levels of the uh, of the castle and serving all my needs. Uh, but again, uh, going back to the carriage house, I tend to get off track. So um, I'm thinking the doorway to the carriage house will basically be right here behind this block and we'll go over here. I'm just gonna run a line of plain stone here to remind myself. So we'll have a come out there and that gives us an opening of four, four blocks. It's interesting, I don't know. The building will basically be right here. So there'll be another wall there and then we can just like bone meal this and put some leaves over here like I did on the far side over there. and. It'll look good. So the carriage house will be a little bit taller than the blacksmith shop, but it will only go up basically as high as the scoring that I did here. So it'll kind of cut into that scoring. It'll definitely be above this line right here where I didn't do the scoring. Probably two stories, probably have its own villagers inside of it. And uh, it'll have a carriage. I'll have to build some kind of a carriage for the royals inside here. All right, the way that I'm going to do this is the way that I'm going to do everything. I'm going to copy that. First, I'm going to make a back of it, this world. Then I'm going to make a creative copy of it. I'm going to go up and model uh, both the uh, Tower Don John up there and also the carriage house before I build them in my survival world because that makes it easier and it helps me make mistakes uh, that are easily correctable before I come back in here and make huge mistakes that take hours to correct. All right, guys, here's the carriage house all done and dusted, right? I've got some uh, crates out here in front. This is a custom texture that I made. I basically created it in Photoshop using the spruce texture. Uh, so it's a note block, just been uh, updated uh, to look like a crate. That makes the note blocks a little bit more useful. Of course, this isn't like an original idea. A lot of people do this, but uh, it is my own texture. So uh, please let me know how you think about it. Uh, let me know if it's cool. Okay, so regarding the carriage house, uh, 
yeah, it's this nice, nice little building in here. I think maybe you could use a shutter on this window. I think that'll complete it. But uh, otherwise, uh, oh, and I did kind of an offset with these trap doors to so that the idea is that hopefully it looks like two big doors that can be swing open, but the, uh, the textures on the spruce doors and the spruce trap doors aren't quite matching up. That's disappointing. I might actually go in and edit the door texture just so that it might match up a little bit better. Uh, also, the two doors open out of the way. So uh, then when you get in here, uh, you've got a stall for horses and you've got some uh, more crates and boxes over here, more cargo. And then I've created this carriage. Uh, this came out pretty good. Uh, it took a couple different tries, but you can actually get in it. And uh, the uh, driver here can pull down these in order to hand something to his passengers or to talk to them. And then up the stairs here, we have the residence. Got some bedrooms in here. So here's like a little wardrobe I built, uh, similar to what I built over in the blacksmith's house, little chest for belongings. And then in the next room, we have an orange bed, several paintings on the wall. So I think all that's left to do on the carriage house here is to get a couple of real horses. Uh, I do have all of the zombie or skeleton horses over here, but unfortunately they can't be tethered to a lead. Uh, so I'm, whoops, I'm going to go out and get into the field and try to find some horses and bring them back and house them here. And I'm also going to try to bring some villagers up from my villager breeder, which is way back in that direction. I'm also powering my villager trading hall down there with the villager's head above it. Uh, so I'm going to take care of those two things and uh, then I'll come back and we'll get started with the dungeon. One other thing I wanted to point out about the carriage house is this little uh, almost like smokestack I built up here. Uh, that's not what this is. This is actually a vent. Uh, what they would do on old medieval carriage houses is they would build like a high tower so that all of the horse and carriage smells would uh, go up into the tower and vent out and not remain in the building below. That way the lords and ladies didn't have to smell their stinky horses. All right, so now I'm going to go out in the field and try to find some horses, uh, tame them, saddle them, and bring them back. And I'm hoping I don't have to go too far. There's one right there. All right, the horse likes me, so now I can put a saddle on it and ride it. Okay, before I get off him, I'm going to take the saddle off because I don't need him to be rideable. But I do need him to be on a lead and attached to this. This. That's what I meant. <laughs> there. So, all right. We'll just get another horse now. All right. So, got a couple of villages in here. One of them has taken a leather worker class. Oh, I think it's from this cauldron that I put uh, for the horse to drink out of here. But I've got two horses here. Uh, I've got one tethered. Uh, having them both tethered would be kind of weird, so it kind of looks like they're in the process of getting them tethered up. Uh, I wonder if this guy's just going to keep jumping there forever, or what's his deal is. Uh, but anyway, they both have beds up here, and uh, they don't both have workstations, though. I guess uh, this other guy should be able to attach to one of the barrels, though. I don't know why he hasn't. Uh, maybe it's because he can't reach it. Hmm, maybe it's because it's too high up. All right, well, yeah, he's claimed a bet at least. Uh, hopefully the other guy will. But anyway, um, you know what? Very happy with the carriage house here and ready to move on.
All right, there it is. Uh, I could probably use a little bit of scoring, but uh, you know, just to tag, break up the textures and all the brick and everything. But uh, I've already got kind of a pattern on it, and I'm just gonna say that not many battles would probably happen up here at this height. It doesn't seem very realistic that phantoms or anything would be fought up here. I mean, maybe phantoms because you have all these balconies, you could be attacked up here. But the scoring would be mainly relegated to this upper level and not uh, the bottom level. So there's a balcony going all the way around with these little towers. And then there are two doors on either side that allow you to go in this little bedroom. I built this little bed, but looks like this one is upside down. So that's how it's supposed to look. And now that I'm looking at it, the whole bed kind of looks like a race car. <laughs> but I did have these items out here and I'll probably put some bookshelves over here or maybe even have them up about in the room. I'll be honest with you, I may just redecorate this room. And this stair kind of goes down to nowhere and there's a giant dark space below us. Obviously the tower will have several levels going down, but I just wanted to mainly get the exterior on here and get you guys having a look at that. All right guys, that does it for today. Two quick add-ons to the exterior of my castle. Uh, kind of completes the front side of my castle. The back side definitely needs to be worked on. And we also need to plot out that interior. We need to start adding the first level rooms with all the larders. We may need a hidden vault in there somewhere. And we need some other like gorgeous rooms added to this castle. However, we won't be continuing that in the next episode because tomorrow the nether update is dropping and I am definitely going to be heading over to the nether to see what all the new changes are about. And I'm interested to get my hands on some of the great new materials that will make armor stronger. Uh, I want to see all the other changes too. So I'll be showing you how to reset the nether. I'm really excited about this, guys. Seriously, I haven't done anything in the nether in this season, in this entire series, specifically because of the nether update. This is what I've been waiting for, and I can't wait. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like, subscribe to see more. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.